as a, an oncologist, I've been treating prostate cancer patients for many years. After the World Trade Center tragedy, uh, I saw patients who were relatively young and developing very inflamed prostates and subsequently developing prostate cancer. We know that amongst World Trade Center first responders that there is an increased rate of prostate cancer and we don't fully understand whether these two things are linked or not and also the molecular mechanisms behind uh, prostate cancer risk in the World Trade Center uh, first responders. This study for the first time looked at markers of uh, exposure and aggressiveness in the tissue and prostate cancer tissue of these responders and also compared these results to the results of the animal experiments. We look at prostate markers in animals exposed to World Trade Center dust. So we were able to look at mechanisms of carcinogenesis in both the animals and the human samples. And what we found was something very interesting. We saw that there was an upregulation of inflammatory genes in their tumors. In other words, their tumors seemed to have more inflammation compared to those tumors that were not exposed to the World Trade Center tragedy. Now what we want to do is look at the DNA methylation in this subject to see whether the expression of the genes is related to methylation of DNA because of the exposure to the dust, because in that case we can try to do some preventive actions on the other responders who don't have prostate cancer yet. We are trying to develop eventually preventive strategies for subgroup of these people.